Good day there, folks. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Lenses and Amps, Backstage Pass. I'm Andrew Tinker. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank all of the subscribers and all the viewers who have made this possible. Uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe below. Uh, another thing too, uh, when do you want to see these videos come out? Do you want to see them come out midweek, weekend? Uh, comment down below, let me know when would be a good day to post these up. Uh, I usually try post them Saturday night or Sunday morning. So yeah, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube page. Um, check out my Facebook page for pictures and stuff like that on some of the beautiful artists. Um, in this episode, we get to talk to Nathan Miller uh, from Sun Valley, uh, who is releasing some singles this weekend. And uh, he is re releasing an album soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, links are down below to his songs. Um, they are hosting an album release party at the Red Dog Friday, March 15, 2019. You might want to check that out. Don't want to miss it. Uh, also check out his uh, acoustic gigs. Um, I know one is happening Thursday, February the 7th, 2019 uh, at Twisted Wheel, uh, hosted by Dylan Ireland. Uh, links to his uh, gigs and his social medias and stuff like that will be posted down below. And, uh, now back to you, Jacques. Hi, right, welcome to Lenses and Amps today. We're outside shooting in the motherfucking cold. We got Nathan Miller here from uh, uh, Sun Valley, right? Yeah, Sun Valley. Sun Valley. Sun Valley. Sun Valley. So Nathan's got a CD coming out. Well, Sun Valley has a CD coming out. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Uh, Nathan's from Port Perry, and he's in Peterborough here. And uh, they got some shows coming up for the CD release party, as well as singles out. And um, so here we go, we're going to ask Nathan, how are you doing? I'm good, definitely cold, um, you know, but it's Canada, you can't complain too much. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, the Sun Valley Project, uh, how long has that been going on for? Uh, actually, it's been going on for about a year now. Uh, my buddy Zach and I had the idea of doing this album, we started it uh, in his basement, because uh, he is a sound engineer, he went to school at Metalworks, uh, so he's, he's got all the talents I need to make this possible, so it couldn't have happened without him. It started off more or less acoustic, but uh, we started adding in more of our uh, buddies from high school that also all were involved. We were all playing in bands together, and uh, since then, the acoustic sound changed quite a bit. It's still folky, but uh, you know, it's definitely got a little bit more pop to it. <laughs> Yeah, and the Metalworks Institution is a great place yeah. to be an engineer, absolutely. Yeah, and the uh, drummer also went there, Tyler, uh, so it's nice to have two people that uh, went to such a good program. So the recording process was a uh, good one? Yeah, I think so. It was cool because, um, I mean, optimally, I'd like to do everything live off the floor, but we uh, all live in different places. I'm in Peterborough, some people were in Little Britain, some people were in Toronto. It's just, you know, getting everyone together at the same time is a little hard. Um, so we kind of just tracked everything at different places and different times over the course of uh, about a year now, so, yeah. It was good to get out of time there. It's like the world has been lifted off my shoulders, so to speak. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. That's great. Um, the single that's out, what, uh, you want to tell a little bit about sure, that? Sure. The first single that was released uh, was called Don't Forget About Me. Uh, it's kind of like a love song ballad thing which is mostly what all the songs are. It's a very romantic album, uh, rooted in heartbreak <laughs> and other um, things. But you know, that's what works sometimes. That's great, <laughs> yeah, we all had those. Um, also, uh, you're gonna have your CD release party at the Red Dog? Yes, on March 15th, uh, it will be at the Red Dog. I still have yet to figure out who I wanna have opening, because I like to keep it uh, Keep it local within the talents and friends that I've, you know, played music with for for time. So. Well, there's no shortage of local talent. Exactly. In Peterborough, and it's good that you have that grassroots mm -hmm. here, and uh, we definitely appreciate that. So as a city. Um, and you say you play uh, acoustic? Yeah, I uh, around here because I mean I can't always have a band. I do like to play acoustic as much as I can. Um, I wrote every single song, like obviously you right. write it all acoustically, but I mean I've been performing all these songs acoustically without the band for the last year or so. So it's uh, it's nice when you do have the band had different so, flavors and different, you know, inspirations and stuff. It just it The avenues are there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, yourself, um, as a songwriter, you've been doing that as well for a while. Oh uh, yeah, I think um, I started writing songs in high school with my buddy James. Um, because we were both, you know, just getting into the sort of the, the swing of things like that in high school. And uh, I mean, I was never good at guitar until I started really learning like 
simple things and, and more difficult things from him, so I definitely have to give him credit for that. Um, and then, you know, it just started progressing from there, and then after high school, um, we all got in this band called The Rolling Tide, and we, we did an album a very similar way, but it was so much rougher back then because we were all, you know, pretty the new. Yeah. yeah, the education was at a different level, but it was really cool to have really... Er, to cut an album just with our friends, we, we spent a whole weekend uh, just in my friend's basement recording, you know, remember we were drinking beers at 3 a.m. and I'd try to record a guitar solo, my, my friend James was like, well, why don't you try doing something like this, and then, you know, he does it in one take and that was the solo we used on the album, but, <laughs> like that. you know, that's fine, <laughs> things like that happen. Yeah, you gotta keep that rolling. <laughs> um, and you play electric as well? I do, I do. Um, yeah, it's nice like to, to do both, I find. I like playing electric probably as much as I do acoustic. It's just, you know, finding the outlet and the places to do that. And to complement the song. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, the influences that you have, uh, where did you stem those from? Uh, definitely on this album, I would say a lot of it is very City and Color-esque. Um, some of the songs actually do have some Blue Rodeo kind of uh, hints to it as well, because um, my... Uh, Actually, the really cool part of the, the band is my high school music teacher, Gord Gervin. He plays the keyboards on the album, so that's really cool. But uh, when I told him, let's kind of keep it in the feel of like folky, you know, city in color, blue rodeo, and then, you know, I, uh, yeah, he nailed it 100%. Like, uh, we, uh, I, when I cut the, uh, the demos or whatever, and then everyone put their tracks on top of it, uh, I hadn't heard anything until it was all pretty much done. Um, what they had done, and then as soon as I heard it, I was like, "This is perfect!" Like you couldn't ask for That's anything good. better. I didn't, I didn't have anything to critique. I just let everyone else's creative flow take take the reins, and it, it worked out very well. Good, good. Are you guys going to be planning a tour? I, uh, I don't know how the. Uh, aspect of a tour would play out just because everyone's so busy and everyone like some of the guys are in their own bands and whatnot um, acoustic uh, yeah I mean I'm always open to uh, to doing a sort of a tour like my my dream is to do a little bit of a tour and go to the East Coast because I love it out there I went to went to Halifax and all through New Brunswick uh, the other year um, I took a road trip out there and just seeing the sights out there I just plot your route yeah I just I feel like Halifax is one of the coolest cities in the yes. world so I definitely would love to go out there and play a little bit of music and I think so. they would definitely appreciate yeah, it yeah it's kind of like the folky well, stuff so it would be cool for sure so you play in town here and there yeah um, what are some of your places that you enjoy playing at um, well, I know I definitely always like to hit up the Red Dog on uh, Tuesday nights for the open mic. Um, sometimes I'll go over to McThirsty's too on the Sunday nights for Ryan's as well. Uh, I understand you're doing the ginger beans, right? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I still have yet to, that's Thursday nights, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just, with my school schedule, sometimes that's tricky, yeah, that's but uh, if I can ever make it. What about in Port Perry? Um, what kind of places were in Port Perry? Um, Port Perry was, it's kind of hard to say there's like a, a band music scene because there's only a couple bars. Um, I mean, there's, um, there's one bar, Colonel Mustard's, that uh, we played uh, with the Rolling Tide, my first band out of high school. We did, you know, like an afternoon show with uh, the high school students as well because they were doing a show as well. So we kind of just slipped into things like that. But uh, other than that, um, there's not a, like a big music scene there. I mean, the nearest place to go would probably be Oshawa if you really wanted an actual gig or here in Peterborough. Um, there's always events that are going on, like we used to play, um, there was a car show called Briss on the Lake and we uh, did like a Beatles cover band with a different band in high school, so that was that was fun for that. Um, and then there was a chili festival and we'd play little shows like that, just kind of like, you know, there'd be a community event going on and we're just, hey, we'll slip in there and play some music. Those know? are the best festivals to play mm -hmm. the whole area. Yeah. Um, online, uh, your media presence. Um, with the outlet you have uh, Facebook, Spotify. Yeah, so uh, if you follow on Facebook, it's uh, Sun Valley Official. Um, that's where you can follow the band on Facebook. And I believe it's also Sun Valley or Sun Valley Official for the Instagram account as well. I know they're linked together, so you should be able to find it that way. Um, I try to post enough to keep people interested. Um, it's, it's hard to, though. Like, I mean, I try to limit as much social media as I can. It kind of sucks the life out of you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's nice because like I'll be posting every single that comes out so there'll be four singles total um, that are released over the next few weeks um, before the actual full album comes out which uh, will be available on all streaming platforms uh, March 1st is when the Sun Valley album comes out so all 11 songs. Well, you hear that guys? It's coming out. Keep an eye out. Follow. And um, 
I guess we should get out of the cold a little bit so we yeah. don't get a little, you know. Frostbite. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, it's been great. Thanks for chatting, buddy. No yeah, problem. Cheers. Thank you for having Thank me. You. Guys, take care and um, hit the streets for the live shows, okay? Keep live music alive by supporting in person and uh, keep the tabs. So, Sun Valley official, follow. Cheers. Well, that's it for this episode there, folks. Thank you very much, Jock. Thank you very much, Nathan, for answering those questions. I hope you, hope you learned a little bit more about Nathan Miller and where he came from uh, Sun Valley. I hope, I hope you guys check it out. Check out his acoustic gigs. Check out the band gigs. Uh, yeah, just check him out on Facebook. Check him out on Instagram. Uh, we are not sponsored by Tim Hortons. Um, but, dear Timmies, please sponsor us. Till next time, please have a good day, folks. We've changed And it would seem strange If you saw me walking To your front door We spent time moving on All this while I've been gone And I can't see you Anymore Suddenly Becomes clear One day a sky full of ghosts Will disappear